Hi, it's Stuart McPhee here and I'm joined today by Niall Fuller. Niall, thanks for joining me. Thanks for having me. Um, I just thought we'd spend a few minutes with you and talk about your trading style. You, know, you and I have known each other for a few years now and I, I know you're 24 years old but you've been trading quite actively for five or six years and I also know because you and I talk a fair bit that you don't trade stocks. Can you give us a bit of an inkling as to what you do trade? Short answer, looking at things that are liquid, moving a lot. At the moment stocks not doing a lot, they're just going straight down. Currencies up and down, always liquid markets, volatility. Um, I know I can get in and out any time, possibly hold over the weekend without the, the risk of being stopped and slipped. So currency is usually friendly and good to develop systems on. So I'd have to say currency is the favourite market next to maybe stock indices, indices. and futures. Mm. Uh, probably avoiding direct CFDs on shares as well. High leverage can be a little bit of a problem. Even though the currency market is leveraged, you've still, uh, you know, you're required to put up a decent margin. But I'd, I'd definitely say at the moment, especially with markets the way they are, mm. staying away from highly leveraged products. I know you'd agree with that as well. Mm. Okay. Look, I know you've only been trading, I mean, you've been trading quite actively for five or six years. And you've obviously learned a lot of things on your journey. Um, what do you think makes, I mean, what's the key ingredient? What makes a successful trader in your eyes? Keeping it simple. Keeping things very clear, defined, a defined set of rules for entry and exit. Mm -hmm. The biggest problem that traders are having is finding their system and their method. I have to say, forget the system, think about the word method and a rule set. So a method and a rule set is just a way of looking at the market. People need to stop looking on the internet and books and seeking mentors that want to teach them mechanical trading systems. I'm thinking more we'll learn uh, a way to look at the market, a way to feel about a chart and develop a relationship with your favourite market. Okay, so what people are doing all over the internet is promoting trading systems for all different markets, whereas I'll trade three instruments, the Euro, the Dollar Swiss, the Dollar Yen, and I'll fall in love with those markets, mm -hmm. and I'll have them on my desktop, and I'll develop methods and a way of looking at these markets. So I'd have to say that is the way to be successful, is to focus, write down your rules, and uh, develop a method as opposed to a system. Okay, and the, and the first words out of your mouth were, were keep it simple. Keep it simple, okay. and avoid indicators on charts and you know magical formulas. And uh, you know, there's a lot of people out there promoting the exact opposite. Because I know you're one what, for just, what works. I know you're one for just looking at basically price, price raw action. price data, and you you're a big a, fan of that. Do a search for price action, and there's not a lot on the internet. Do a search for you know, a MACD and a moving average crossover, and there's plentiful. Okay. So keeping it simple with a raw price chart works. Okay, so you're, all right, so that's, I guess, a key ingredient for you. What are perhaps some of the biggest mistakes then that traders make? Not having a stop loss, I'd say, if you asked a broker. Mm. <laughs> but for me, I'd have to say that the people I'm talking to, um, because I'm already successful, it's almost hard to, to know what my faults are at the moment, even though I do have them. The people that come to me uh, through my website, uh, they're looking too deeply at the market. They're making it too complex for themselves. They're chopping and changing and not believing in what they have. Okay, so I might be able to teach someone a system. Uh, sorry, a method. There I go using that. It's hard to get rid of that word system. A method and yet, whilst it might work for five trades in a row, it'll lose for five trades in a row and they'll, they'll not want to follow it. They'll ditch it. Yeah. Mm. And I wouldn't say so much back testing because there we go, again, we're trying to go, you know, a proven mechanical system. I'm talking something that's logical that I can teach someone, yet they'll go home and do the exact opposite to what I've said. And it's actually having the self-belief in your mentors mm. and what you're learning or even learning, you know, learning on your own time. So yeah, keep, keeping it simple, developing a plan and a method, and then believing in it. Okay, so self, belief. Self-belief, yeah. So what you're saying is that person has a method, they have five great profitable trades, mm -hmm. they then follow that with five losing trades, and then there's gonna, they lose Being that belief in it. You'd be surprised how many people I meet that email me how wonderful they're doing, and then they drop off the face of the planet when they lose. Do you think you've been through that yourself, where you've lost belief in an approach, a method? I go through it, um, I go through the emotion, the psychology of every week when I lose a trade. It's impossible, and I don't know anyone that can buck the feeling mm -hmm. when you lose. When you go to a casino and you have a big win, you're on a high, the exact opposite's true for a loss. It's a, it's a euphoric feeling, mm -hmm. and that's associated with 
you know, things from, I mean, the psychologists that talk about going back to your childhood, looking, you know, all this complex thing that um, happened in your mind that are manifested from problems with money in your past. You might associate loss with debt or marriage, breakup, business. But it's a cost of execution, a loss. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's just part of trading. Yeah, and so it's, it's impossible to lose a feeling, but managing it... Mm. So that's a, real, that's a real key to you then. You know exactly the feeling you've got and why you've got it, yeah. but you're able to look beyond that and, and, and exactly. deal with it. Just like, you know, to stop at a red traffic light, what to do. Mm. The rules of an intersection, when you have a loss and the feeling's coming, you know what to do. Mm. You have a plan to deal with the emotion. Okay. For me, it's to just turn off the screen, go and watch a movie, go and play golf, whatever you want to do. Sure not that I Not that I play golf. But I'm sure. I'm sure people have an outlet, and sure. that's another, that brings me to another point. Mm. Have an outlet. Mm. Have something else to do, and sit in front of the screen and overtrade. Yeah, yeah, no, no, can't do that. Um, finally, yeah, no overtrading. No, definitely not want to force the. <laughs> You're action. not a day trader, are you? No, 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 not at all. Um, finally, a lot of people are interested in uh, entry, right? We we talk about indicators and and different setups and everything. Can are you able to give us a bit of a feel for the way you look at your entry and like your methodology? Sure. The, the key things you look for? Well, you know, I look at price action. Mm. But what price action is, is a study of raw price. Yes. So all my entry and exit rules are based on daily and higher time frame charts, weeklies, probably as low as a minute, uh, an hour chart, mm. two 40 minute charts. I avoid intraday charts. Um, what I'm looking at doing is identifying short term trends, uh, using counter trend movements to enter within these trends. I look for price action signals. There's too many to list, but let's say I have a trading plan of 10 proprietary trading setups based on price action. I will define my risk uh, in the market, define my target, risk reward scenarios. Yes. If they meet the conditions, mm. I'm in the trade, I walk away, I'm either stopped or the target's hit. And what's the sort of reward to risk or whatever ratio you're after? Two to one minimum, okay. but I'm hopefully looking for three and four. Sure. And obviously with a break even stop loss, you can let you trade run. I don't promote scaling in or scaling out of positions. Just in and out? Just in and out. I mean, scaling in would be uh, more favourable than uh, scaling out. Because mm. you want to have most of your position as the trades in profit, Okay. If, if you're with me. Okay. If you can't identify perhaps a level of risk or potential target in that trade, so you can't really do that calculation risk reward, do you, do you still push it if, you, if sure. it looks good or no, you take no. the trade? What I do is I have a setup. Um, and I'll identify a level, or you know, if there's a if there's a setup that requires a stop in a certain place and I can't get it there yes. within a capital management model, yes. I won't take that Good. trade. Okay, that's another point that uh, really needs to be hit home to, to novice traders. Don't trade just to make a trade. Mm -hmm. There's always tomorrow. Mm -hmm. The market will repeat itself over and over. You'll get another go. Yeah, don't over trade. Don't force. Don't it. over trade. And again, find something else to do because okay. this is not a. It's not a game, it's, you know, it's not a sport. Okay. It's a business. Terrific. All right. Noel, thanks for that. I know it's only a very uh, quick chat with you, um, but thank you very much for that uh, insight into, into what you do. Look, if people out there want to learn a little bit more about yourself and what you do, what, what can they do? Where can they go? Well, my primary focus is trading. I do uh, run an education website mm -hmm. for aspiring traders, novice and advanced, dealing uh, primarily in price action analysis and my setups. I do trading videos, have a trading course, a forum for everyone to get together and then talk about the market. The uh, website, um, bottom of the screen here, www.learntotradethemarket.com. Okay, terrific. Noel, thank you very much for your time. Terrific for to uh, have a listen to the way you do things. Thanks very much. Take care.